Alright, so welcome back to the pre-calc 12 class. I don't know why I keep having to say welcome to pre-calc 12 because it's in the title, it's in the description. You should know it's pre-calc 12. I don't know why I keep saying it. Okay, so welcome to this video that you are now watching. We are into section 1.3 part 1. We're going to combine all these transformations. Um, I ha am refilming this video, so all my jokes feel like they're already used. So if I say a joke that was in another video, I apologize for that. I know it's terrible hearing the same joke over and over again, but you'll only have to suffer through it twice. So the good news is this slide is going to be really short. 1.3 is uh, split up pretty short. So the purposes for this are as follows. So we're going to apply all types of transformations onto graphs. We're going to apply some more ordering and apply some more mapping. Those two we've just been doing the whole time, but we're just going to look at, in general, all the transformations. So we want to sketch a graph that looks like this. So what we are going to do is take a look at what are each of the different types of transformations. So negative 3 out front, not inside the square root, out front means it's vertical, and the negative gives us a reflection. Inside, horizontal, to the left, to uh, 5, and we're going to translate five, uh, 4 down. Wow, I am getting tired. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the original square root of x. Uh, sorry, ordering. So I do vertical first, there we go. By now, you should be pretty quick at ordering. Either do verticals first or horizontals first. Ordering is not too bad. So what I did is I took each original point with the root x and I applied each of these transformations. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through specifically step by step each of these um, because you should be able to um, be able to do this. If you want to slow down the video and go step by step, you can. So here is uh, the points. Here's the translations. <coughs> and this is going to be our new expression. So take these points, plot on a graph, bing, bang, boom, done. This is our graph. So the reason why way back at the beginning we did a re review of these functions um, is because you need to know what these functions look like. For a square root, you need to know it stops at that point. So x can equal negative 5. That would just give you 0 and then in the square root. But if you had anything less than negative 5 for x, you'd get an error. So you need to know that for this graph, you have a distinct end point. It doesn't keep going. So that's why those functions at the beginning are good to know. So this is a little bit of a different question. So now I tell you all the different types of transformations and you give me the equation. So we've got the original y equals f of x. We want to determine the equation where we've got a horizontal reflection, a horizontal translation, 4 to the left, vertical reflection, vertical translation, 5 up, and a vertical compression by a factor of 2. So we just need to figure out from this information what's A, what's B, what's H, what's K, and then put it into the equation. So, um, so we've got A, we've got a vertical reflection, and it's compressed by a factor of 2, so that gave us this. Horizontal reflection only, so B equals negative 1, h, the horizontal translation is 4 to the left, so h is negative 4, and vertically 5 up, so k is 5. Then we'll plug it into the general equation. So here's the general equation. Just plot those variables in, and here's your final equation for that. That part's not too bad. Once you've got all the variables, just plug it in, you're good to go. So let's do another ordering question. If you see something like this, 
it looks a little bit different but don't panic something like this isn't too bad all you need to do first rearrange this to look so that it's y equals the rest so we've got this we look at each of the different types of transformations so horizontal compression or sorry vertical compression horizontal compression uh, horizontal translation vertical translation pick the verticals pick the horizontals first I think I went horizontal yep so I did horizontal first and then we did vertical so there's the ordering if you did the verticals first again no worries that's it I told you this is gonna be nice and quick so there is that one uh, and I will see you next time you know what's coming you know what's coming it's that time in the video at the very end one of these times maybe i won't do it but i feel like because it's youtube this is like what you have to do at the end of each video and i've seen enough videos probably too many i've seen enough videos that i know all the tactics for getting people to subscribe you just wait till the next video it'll be a good one because i'm saving everything for that i'm not going to be so pushy here like subscribe leave a comment hit the bell all those things